old to talk to the doctor. We talked, and he talked about medical things. In plain English, we can get a report for Lamont. Fine. <laughs> but not right away. They need to watch her a while, because they have to make sure that her condition is permanent. Then let's hope that her condition is permanent. <laughs> oh, what did I say? Actually, I don't pity her at all. She's crazy, and we know that. She shot you. She almost revealed us at court, too. Once we get that report, she can talk as much as she wants to. She can blame anyone she wants. No one's gonna care about her after that. She's better than yesterday. Oh, thank goodness. We got permission. We'll take her to a hospital in Istanbul. Prepare a bag and put some clothes in it. Do that and I'll call you after we arrive so that you can bring the bag to the hospital. Okay, I'll prepare the bag tonight, I promise. Does Parahan need anything in particular? Yadigar asks if there's anything you especially want. No, but thank you. No, she doesn't. Do you need anything? It's fine like this. No, don't bring anything for me. I'll go to the house. And how is Laman? How could she be? The same? Poor woman. Her son has just died, and now her husband... <gasps> what happened? Ah! Yadigar? I, I was pouring some tea, and I just spilled it. Well, have a good night. I'll call you before we depart in the morning. Okay, okay. We'll talk soon. Oh, I hate you so much, Fatmabu! I hate you so much as well, Karem! I hope you can go to hell and burn! That one night's price was my whole life! I did it! I did it for Allah's sake! There it is! What do you have to say to that? Let them hang me! Kill me! Beat me! I'm ready for it! That one night's price is my whole life! That one night's price is my entire life! I'll pay it! Was it worth it for a silly girl? Was it worth it? Oh, I hate you! Erdogan! Why did you come? What are you doing? What's in your hands? I don't know. <laughs> don't cry. Mrs. Parahan will be fine. We just talked. She's doing well. Please don't be sad, Erdogan. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, Yadigar. I am so relieved. That's why I was really devastated. Because of that! It was because of that! <laughs> Let's go inside, Erdogan. I looked at the reports. The statements from the witnesses are the same. It's really an accident. There's no way that this is a coincidence. It wasn't the Yasserans this time, Karem. The driver is saying that Semsi lost control of the steering wheel that horrible night. He's also saying that he saw them arguing in a loud, passionate way about something. Once Mrs. Lamont recovers, I wonder how she'll tell her side of the story. Omer stayed in Izmir. Once the doctors give permission, and if Miss Lamont feels better, he'll listen to what she has to say and also talk to her about the case once again. Um, do you want to try some beans? Yes, please. The court order was sent to the GSM companies. The investigation has begun. Oh, that's nice. By the time the report arrives, I hope Ms. Lamont will be fine, too, and they won't have anything to say. Meltem said that she won't be involved from now on. Yeah, they made her give up. They revealed everything about her. Look at what the newspapers are saying. They write, and they write many things. But what happened with Mustafa is right. Look at her. And we couldn't get anything from that woman, the Yasserans maid. What was her name again? Yadigar. 
You're right. She was going to give a statement in favor of us before. I hope this trial won't be extended after June. I didn't give you the most important news. Mr. Faratin called. Did he say that Karim called him? Did you do that, Karim? Well, what did he say? Mustafa found the house in the woods. I know how you feel. But I'm carrying a child. I haven't seen her face yet, but I love her already. She is my whole life now. My whole life. There's nothing I wouldn't do for her. You have one son. You're angry at me because you think only of him, and I know that. I know that. You haven't seen anger yet. You're still talking, liar. What lie did I tell? Hush. You came to my door. And I had said I wouldn't see you again. You promised that you'd leave Mustafa's life. And now you're forcing him to be with you. You think I don't deserve him, huh? You judge me because of my past? I don't want to know about your filthy past. But I have paid for my mistakes. I closed that chapter of my life and I opened a new one. He married Hasser, not Asu. Please accept Hasser as your daughter. I never cheated on Mustafa. I never lied to him. I'm not with him because I want to settle down. I'm with him because I love him for real. I don't expect you to love me immediately. Give me time to explain myself, I beg you. Just try. I need some patience. <sighs> How did Hasser believe him again? The important thing is, why did Mr. Faratin let her go? Well, he couldn't just hold her by force. It's between the wife and the husband. What could he do? So she must have written that letter when she was angry. She did it to punish Mustafa. He didn't do the things she said in it. She said everything would be messed up. After the letter, everyone was cautious. I don't know. I don't understand it. Well, look, I'm still sure he's up to something, okay? But it's clear that he's with the Yasserans for money. He's keeping them busy, and he didn't do anything to hurt us either. Yes, and that's why we owe him. Karem, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Whatever, tell me about the house. Is it Mr. Faratin's? Did you see the house for yourself? Is it big? I didn't see it, but he told me that the house is really far away in the woods. Huh. Although he lives in Australia, he's investing in real estate here too. I think he's doing all of it for his son. Don't you all think so? Thank you. 